pomegranates in Texas? You bet your bottom dollar we do. Stay tuned and we're going to show you how to grow these beautiful antioxidant rich fruits right here in Texas. Look at that beautiful pomegranate. I'm so excited to dig into it. Um, we planted our tree about six years ago. We are in North Texas. We're a little above North Central Texas and our pomegranate tree has uh, adapted quite well to our environment. It likes where it's at. Pomegranates do not come to fruition until sometime in September. But some things you need to know about your pomegranate tree is uh, they are quite hardy. It didn't require a lot of water except at first. Um, our first year we uh, had a pretty bad winter. Texas is known for mild winters but we do get some rough ones in between and uh, that winter happened to be pretty rough and we thought that we lost it. It seemed like it died down but it did come back and we're, we're glad it did. This tree here is about eight feet, maybe nine or ten feet tall actually. And um, as far as the circumference, it's huge. Absolutely huge. Um, it doesn't take a lot of water. It seems to do good in the summers here. Um, the only thing that the pomegranates do not like, the wind. The, this is the south side of the bush and uh, the high winds tend to not let the flowers set and not let you get fruit. So you can see that uh, on the south side where we get quite a bit of wind here in Texas in the spring and in the early summer, it just didn't, it didn't uh, produce any fruit, but the north side sure did. What else do I want to tell you about this tree? Um, you can propagate it, but you cannot propagate it until the, the tree goes dormant, which is sometime in January, maybe even February. It depends. But if you do decide to propagate it, number one, you can only take a couple of branches. You cannot just go and prune it back and take a lot of branches. That uh, will probably kill it. It seems to be very sensitive in that area. If you have an established tree in its environment, then uh, whatever it is that you decide to propagate and plant, then it will uh, produce fruit much sooner than if I were to buy another tree from the nursery and, and plant it. Again, they're very hardy for our area. I was very surprised to find out that we could grow these here in Texas, and I'm excited to find out that we can grow these here in Texas because it is a delicious fruit, and it's something that uh, you can either juice with other juices or you can just eat it by itself. Um, they are very, very delicious. They're kind of a tart, sweet plant or fruit. We do not use any sprays on the tree. We have an add to. So I know that uh, whatever I pick is, is fresh. It doesn't have any insecticides or any sprays on it. We wish you the best of luck and we hope that it uh, grows as hardy as ours and that you're able to propagate and make many more trees and many more bushes on your property. Just be sure and plant it somewhere where the wind isn't going to um, hit it often because it does pull off the flowering buds that produces the fruit. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. We have so many other good things coming up that we want to share with you. And we appreciate all of you. Take care and God bless.